Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So this is going to be a special upload, not only because I've just released the Dynasty update, but because I want to say a huge thank you for 100 subscribers. It really does mean so much to me and I love you guys so much. And yeah, let's push on for a thousand. So don't forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, join my Discord if you want to be featured in any of my future videos. And I suppose we should get started with the new update. So, this is the Dynasty faction. And I've got to say, the map actually looks beautiful. I absolutely love this map. It is so nice. Got a nice little river, lake thing running through. We've got some bridges. We've got some really nice pretty pink trees. And yeah, it just looks absolutely awesome. So, with this new update, we can't actually use the new guys yet. We actually have to beat them to be able to use them. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to do a couple of levels of beating them. And then hopefully we'll get to use them and test out their different abilities. So let's get started. So what do we actually have? We have some samurai looking people. And a weird master samurai type guy. I don't know what he's called, but we'll just call him master samurai. So, we've got to work out what's going to be best to beat them with. Now, I'm thinking, let's go for the old classic that I absolutely love and use the spear thrower. So, we're going to put some of them in. How many? Oh, we've got quite a lot of points to use. There we go. So, let's get started. Let, oh, I didn't check for them ones down on the corners. That's not good. We're going to get flanked. Let's zoom in a bit so we can get a good, decent look. Oh, okay. They can actually block some of the shots. Wow. That's that's pretty cool. It's quite a new a uh, new unique unit then. Um yeah, there's guys behind you. There's, there's a guy behind you. Yeah, you're dead. And you guys, you might want to turn around. Turn around. Turn around. They are pretty cool though, the fact that they can block some of the shots. That's awesome. Are we going to win? I don't know if we will. I think this dynasty faction may be putting an end to my awesome spear thrower people. Especially since they can't even hit the guy. I mean, oh, he gets quite a lot in one swing. He's quite cool, but he doesn't really seem to be killing them. And we won. Well, that's pretty cool. We still won. But he didn't really do too well. I like his face. That's awesome. Right, well, we'll move on to the next level then, I guess. Right, so what do we have this time? This one's called Ninja. So I'm guessing we have some ninjas in it, maybe. So we've still got some more Samurais. And then, I guess these are the ninjas. And they have throwing stars. Right, we also have people on that corner, and I'd assume down on this one as well. Yes, we do. Now, we're not going to keep using the Spear Thrower. We're going to test out different units against them as we go through. So, let's try the Valkyrie. Let's go for some big units. Let's go. Let's see how they do against these guys. Because I'm just thinking, because they go up high, they might not take so much damage. Oh, what? Wow. They throw really fast, them ninjas. And we lost. That doesn't surprise me. They were throwing them well fast. Right, new plan of action then. What would be best to use? The problem is I've not really used any of these higher up people. So I'm not really sure how they work. Should we put in... Let's put in some archers. We'll, we'll do a little mix of people. And we'll do some spear throwers. Let, let's do two lines of those. And then I'm thinking, let's put in a couple of knights. And we can afford a king as well. So we'll do a king as, as well and we'll see how they go. I don't see us doing well again, but we will see. Right, so they can also block the arrows. I don't know if they actually block the standard attacks or not. Because obviously they're just constantly being shot at the whole time. Come on, Mr. King. Right, my knights are dead. 
But we've taken those down. I wonder... Right, and the king's down, so that's not good. But we do still have some spear throwers. And some archers. And they've got one person left. And we won. So that weren't too bad doing all of, all of those. Um, once again, though, the final kill was just a hit to the hand. I seem to like getting those. Seems to always happen. Nice. Well, moving on. So what have we got this one? This one's called New Year. So we have got some archers. Okay, so they've put in some new archers then. And we've got the master guy. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's fight archers with archers. But we'll move ours up faster. Let's put another one in there. There we go. Um, I quite like using the knights. That was pretty cool. And... Let's put in some squires to go with him. To go with him? To go with them. There's more than one, Scott. There's more than one. Right, let's go. Oh, okay. I, once again, I didn't, I didn't check the uh, corners. But we have a dragon. A nice little Chinese dragon being carried. Whoa, hold on. Are they fire arrows? No, what are they? Oh, what? Wow. Okay. I think I know what they are. They're fireworks. Uh, and he is flying. Okay, I think we've found a new favourite unit. I cannot wait to test these guys out. Where is... Is he just going to keep going up? Oh, they blew up. And he definitely died. I mean, even if he didn't, he's going to die from the fall. Wow. Okay, I like this unit. This is pretty cool. I mean, that that just absolutely takes them out. I mean, even the king just went flying. Like, Oh, no, we didn't have a king, did we? I was looking at the squire thinking he was a king. That's fine, but we will test out a king versus them because I want to see what they can do. And I don't know if you saw that because I was too busy talking about everything else, but them dragons were breathing fire, and that's pretty cool as well. So they're going to be fun to use. I like this new update. It's good looking. You've got some awesome new units. I mean, this is just awesome. Oh, okay. Um, mate, you got shot. Whoa. Okay, the area damage of that is incredible. But we still won. We still won, so that's good. Let's move on. Right, so now we're on to this one. And what the hell are they? Are they... That is just a lot of arrows. Do we have any other people or is it just those? Right, it's just those. So, I mean, I don't really want to kill them straight away. Because I want to see what they do. So, we'll put our people a bit further back and hopefully that will work. But we're just going to go with the spear throws quickly just to test it out. And we'll group them all together because I want to see what that barrage of arrows actually does. So let's put them all together and let's go. So we'll slow it down because I don't know what their range is. Oh, there we go. Whoa, they're fire arrows as well. Or is it just... Oh no, I think it's just the fire of them being shot out. But that was a lot of arrows. Oh, and we've got other people and I didn't notice them. We've got some ninjas. Okay, that's not good. I really should pay more attention to what we've got around. I always just focus on the first ones that I see. But, that's not too bad. We've taken out the ninjas, so we've just got them. So let's just let it play through. I like the way that reloads. Where you can actually see the arrows coming back. Whoa! Well, we won. But that's a pretty cool unit as well. I'm loving all of these new units. I really am. They, they're incredible. Wow. Right, so. Now we're on to a tribal era one. That's a shame. I, I like that map, but... Oh, I see. We uh, we get to use the units now. So we can actually test these guys out. That's pretty cool. So what are we going up against? Let's just... Right, we've got some stoners. And we've got some spear throwers. That's fine. We can test those out. So the one... What did we see? We saw the samurai. We saw the archers. We saw the monk. We saw the ninja. We saw the dragon. And we saw that one. So, I guess we've got to try out... What's that? The Monkey King. What is the Monkey King? Let's have a look at him quickly. Let's go into F and we'll have a little look around him. Okay, he's pretty cool. He's got a tail. He's awesome. He, he looks so cool. 
Right, well, let's test him out quickly then. Just see what he can do. I don't know when to slow it down to see, but... Oh, okay, so he jumps like a monkey. And he is attacking... Oh, okay, and there's multiple of him. Okay, so by the looks of it, he splits into multiple guys. When he's attacking. I don't see us winning this one with him. But I quite like the fact that he splits. That's pretty cool. Right, okay, so by the looks of it, when he splits, if he dies, then all the others die. Because they put that into a recent update to do with like the scarecrow and that where and the um snake archers, where they fire things out that stay alive. But if the main one dies, then the others die with him. So they don't actually count as real people as such. So that's that's interesting to know. That's fine. But he didn't win, so let's move on and let's try. I've got to use these guys, really. I, I love them. They're awesome. Look at it go. Oh, why ain't I got anyone flying? Oh, now I've got people flying. I mean, we're still going to lose, but I mean, it's worth losing just to use them. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, he's going. See you later, mate. These are so cool. I honestly thought when they put in Artemis, you couldn't beat it. But obviously you had the Mace Spinner with that one as well. So that was really hard to beat. The Mace Spinner and Artemis in one update. But these are just awesome. They really are. I'm loving this. Even if I'm losing, I'm still loving it. Let's try loads of ninjas. There we go. Because they throw their things really fast. I'm just hoping they don't all die straight away from... And they did. Okay, that didn't go to plan. Don't like the ninjas, they're rubbish. We're moving on from them. So, I guess what we'll do... Is we'll put in some of the archers. And then put in some of the samurais. Because the samurais can block their throws. I don't know if they'd be able to block the stoners or not. I don't think they would. But... We'll do that because they'll block those. No, they can't block the stoners. But that does now distract the others so then they can keep firing. And I think we're still going to lose. This is actually a really hard battle. Until you see them all flying off like that. They are going well high. I'm going to freeze it quickly just to... Let's go up to their height. Let's just quickly get up there. I mean, that is really high. That's incredible. Okay, let's unfreeze it because I think we're going to lose anyway. So we'll just unfreeze it to let this guy die. We've got one left. But he's still got another shot in. So that's fine. Right, so that didn't work. So let's just go all out Samurais. Let's just go for it. I probably should have put them a bit more central, but it's fine. They can block those. If we could take down the stoners quite quickly, we should be able to... Yeah, they've taken out theirs up there, so we should win this one now. I mean, the stoner's still alive over there. Now he's not. That's good. And we're plowing through these pretty well now. And we won. Awesome. Right, let's move on. Nice. So we've got some mammoths. Right, well, we saw how well Artemis took them out. So I think we're going to have to do it. Because Do we have enough? Yeah, well, I think we have enough as well. So let's put one there. One there. And one there. I want to see how these arrows go. Oh, they're both going up that way. And we won. Well, that's over pretty quick as well. Wow. Look at the amount of arrows going in. I love the fact that they're able to hit more than one as well. As you can see, they've flown over from that one onto them. But that is a lot of arrows and a lot of damage. All right, well, we can move on from that one pretty quick then. Okay, so I think there's, what, one unit that we haven't tested out. So that's what we're going to be testing in this one. And that's the dragon. I'm hoping that it'll be quite good. Let's, how many can I put down? Oh, okay. How much are they? Oh, they're only a thousand. Okay. Let's, uh... 
put in four of them. And then we'll put them a bit more central. We'll put some samurais in with them because then we've spent all of our money. So let's see what they actually do. So they do breathe fire like I thought they did because I completely missed what they were doing before. But I don't really know how much damage they're doing. But we've got a mammoth. So can they kill the mammoth? I mean, they're still... No, right, we've lost our dragons. But obviously we've got the people that carry the dragons still. But by the looks of it, we're going to lose. Oh, we've still got a dragon over here. Uh, is it just it? Right, okay. So they've completely let go of that. And we lost. Okay. So that's interesting. The dragons don't seem to really do much. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. We'll put those in. Put in some firework people. And then we'll put in some samurais. That should win us the game. Because that should take out... Nope, the mammoth didn't get taken out. That was supposed to take out the mammoth straight away. Oh, there is one more thing I've got to do after this one. So even if we win it, I'm going to come back into it. Actually, I'll go into simulation for it, I think. I think I'll go into simulation to test out what I want to test out next. And hopefully they'll start sinking into the ground soon. So they can actually get past it. Yes, it is. And that is a shame that they fired all their weapons already. <laughs> right, so we did win. So let's move over into simulation before coming back to go into the next missions. And yeah, let's go test it out. Right, so now we're into the simulation sandbox. What I have to test out, I don't really know how many to use. So let's try 10. Because I want to see if they can make a mammoth fly. I want to know if you can have a flying mammoth. So we're going to have to try it. It is it is trying to make him fly, but instead it's just pushing his face around. That's quite cool. <laughs> I like that. It's trying to lift him. It just can't. I think we may need more. I think we may need more to be able to lift him. I mean, he's got quite a lot of health, as we know, so I think we're going to lose this anyway. Unless they can fire underneath him as he's attacking, but they seem to be missing, and we've got one left. Yep, yeah, we lost, so we're going to have to put in more. Okay, so let's go back to Dynasty and get some more of those guys. And I'm thinking if we spread them out so we can hit every area. So let's do... Let's put in 50. I'm hoping it won't kill him. Is it making him fly? No, it's just pushing him down. We need a way to get underneath him. That's the problem. Come on, push him along. Right, okay, that killed him. So, we can't use that many people. So, let's take it down to... Let's do 30. And we'll test that one out then. I really want a flying mammoth. I love the fact it makes him twitch out massively. Like, he just... It's like he's trying to shake them off. I love it. That's awesome. Come on. You can fly, mate. We need you to fly. Well, I think he's going to die this time. No, he's still going. Ah, uh, there we go. Now he's dead. So, this is a shame. I really wanted a flying mammoth, but I don't think we can get them to fly. Unless, what if I put them closer? Because then that way they'll be shooting underneath him a bit more. So, what if we do... Lines of five. I've, that is a terrible line of five. We'll put that in and take him out. Let's um, let's get rid of those. Because <laughs> I did a line of six. I didn't realise. I thought it was a line of five. I obviously can't count. There's a line of ten. A line of ten. Line of five. But that was ten. It's twenty. Let's try twenty. No, he's still just twitching out. I love the way that his trunk's going everywhere as well. <laughs> it's so cool. Right, now if they can fire up into him. There we go. Oh, we had a little bit of lift. We had a tiny bit of lift on it. Oh, if we could shoot him from behind. Come on, fire. Fire now. I don't know what this guy's doing. Right, well, that's a shame. We can't actually have a flying mammoth. That really is a shame. So what we'll do is we'll just come out of that quickly. We know we can't make him fly. And we're going to make a Flying King instead. Because he's another powerful unit. And once again I've gone up there instead of down here. And we're going to make a King fly. 
Let's go. Let's go, King. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, he's awesome. And he's still alive. If they could fire again now, that'd be really nice. There we go. At least it keeps him away from them. I love the fact that he's just spinning around. Well, we could kill the king with them pretty well. That's pretty cool. But yeah, let's go back to the campaign missions. And we'll continue that one instead. Right, so this is going to be the last one that I put into this video. And now we've moved into the farmer era. So we've got our time travelling dynasty still. That we can use. And yeah, we're going to see how this one goes. As our last one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, let's uh, get on with the last one. Now what, I'm trying to work out what would be best to do. I'm thinking we got to use these in our last one. Should we just put loads in again and see how it goes? Because I know they're protected against projectiles, but um, not when that happens. Is he going out the map? Oh, he did. We actually launched one all the way out the map. The area damage on that is awesome. I love that. And there goes another one out the map. And another one's falling down there, and he's just gone. Bye, mate. Oh, is he coming back in? No, he died. I absolutely love these guys. These are so cool. But are they going to win? I hope they win. It'd be nice if they won. Are they going to win? Are they going to win? I mean, he's got a lot of health. They're, obviously, they're not doing that much damage then. But uh, uh, surely he's dead now. Surely. Yeah, it doesn't really do much damage, which is a shame. But they finally killed him. And we've got one left somewhere, have we? Who are we shooting at? Have we got someone down in the water? Oh, we do. We've got some people stuck under the bridge. I'm hoping the area damage will kill him because they don't seem to be able to shoot him. Um. Oh, okay. We're floating down. Nice, I didn't realise you could actually go underwater on this game when you're looking around. That's pretty cool. Learn something new every day. Um, I've, Have we only got one left? Okay, you're going to have to kill him. Nice. What a perfect shot that was. Well done, mate. You're the last survivor. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, just want to say a huge thank you for 100 subscribers. Love you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.